Hello everybody, it's me Dusty Circuit here and welcome to, uh, well, this is not Fortnite Friday, but we're playing today because it's the end of the <laughs> season. Yep, last day of the season, a few of us are still trying to grind out some challenges, I'm one of those people, hi. Um, so we're trying to just take advantage of one more play day. It's very slim pickings today, we got, I have quite a few guys started school, so I saw um, Steel and Maxi both started school. Um, Evan's out of town, he's on vacation, My so... My started school, too. Yeah, so it's gonna be just a slim crew today, but we're gonna try and get some of these challenges done. I'm glad I don't have to go to high school anymore. The the new rules they have nowadays are, like, horrible. They, 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 it's a law that you can't use your cell phone at all at school or whatever now, so they can't even have them in their pockets. Like, they're completely off. Wow, I mean, what happens if they get caught? Because my understanding, like, with Riley's, you're like, don't have them out, but then they never they never enforced it. No, if you, now that it's a law, they have, they are going to either give you a minor or a referral. A minor, a f referral is equal to four minors, so you can get four minors before you get a referral. And they're all digital. I don't know if it changed, but in I my don't... high school, it was, you were... You're not allowed to have them out in class, but in the hallways and in the cafeteria is fine. You can use them however you want. I don't think it's I don't, like that anymore. I think they I don't think, rid of it completely. I don't think they're allowed to uh, enforce when it's outside of school hours. Uh, yeah, well, even if it's on school land. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's hard. Because that's like kind that... of a violation of free speech when, you know, phones I mean, outside they don't of want the people, classroom. They don't want kids on their phone during class, which I understand, but if a teacher lets them use their phone, like, that's another thing. See, I would be like, hey, like, while we do this lesson or whatever, keep your phones I away, feel but like, if we get through it fast, the rest of you guys I can be on your phone. I feel after. like that's during kind of lessons, no phones, but during kind of, like, maybe the end of the class where there's no lesson going on, I feel like phone, and, and also... And also free use of phones in the hallways and in the cafeteria, I feel is reasonable. Yeah, I do yeah. too. For it some people, like it's their only way of contacting other people. in the hallways. They didn't want you in the hallways with headphones on. They always harassed you for that. Uh, they, well, you can't have headphones Also, at all. like, I feel like that's a huge violation, in, especially in this day and age with uh, you know, all the threats and stuff that happen at schools. Like, you need to be able to contact somebody it might be yeah. your last chance to contact yeah, somebody I, uh, you know? that's what i some schools they lock them up in like uh in things i don't think my brother's school does a locking up but they can't like you can't like use them luckily they're not locked i feel up. like I, that's just school, going I that's taking it way too far like we well, we have like we have phones we people we like phones that be cell phones that become uh, part like literally part of our lives for a reason like not just because we're addicting but like they're very they're very useful and we're, we're, it's we we need yeah, you them have, you have a point if there's an emergency and you need to call somebody and all the students phones are locked up they can't call their parents if something's happening Especially in the U.S. because those kind of emergencies do happen. Yeah, I mean, and, I mean they're um, kind of expected. I can't imagine being a kid stuck in a classroom with something happening and not have the ability to message somebody. That's just, like, that's but, just, just ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It probably won't last. Are I'm you sure even it's be like able to a... contact police? Yeah, because, like, literally. Because if they're like, um, we have a safe exit out, like, instruct your whole out. class to, yeah. to follow these directions. You know, I don't see it really sticking. I guess I you could know. say they, they always don't like having phones. My brother said one of his teachers lets them, even though it's law now. But uh, yeah, it's not. I don't need to worry about it, so I don't really. I think a lot of teachers are gonna have to do stop something. Like what about that, the teachers? They're supposed to but because like, uh, because the teachers themselves are usually on phones too. So no, the teachers are always allowed to use their phones. It's just. But see, that's not right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it's fun. it's not none of my business. I don't go there anymore. I don't need to worry about it. Oh, but I did hear that they got the sensory room added to the school, though. They don't use it, but they I did hear they got the sensory room added. Yeah, that's exciting. Also, a few of the special ed teachers I used to know 
retired. One we saw at the craft show because their their husband makes like wood stuff. Like he makes so much like wood fidget spinners, not fidget spinners, like tops, wood tops, and all kinds of stuff. And it's really cool. Well, that's really cool, Magic. Also, another one of my teachers retired. He, she was a very nice teacher. She, uh, a lot of the special ed teachers are older and have been doing it for a long time, so they need to retire eventually. <laughs> You're like, your time is up! <laughs> Goodbye. And a, and a lot of them are, can be tired of it, I mean, like, you know. Yeah. I would, like... I personally would never teach, like, it, that, not only do they not get paid enough, like, the students nowadays have, would I... Yeah. Hey, what happened to y'all? Did y'all just get disconnected and reconnected too? No, I did not. Oh, okay. Uh, Maybe Discord just having a moment. Yeah. I. What was I saying? And oh, yeah. uh, I was curious. I want to ask APL. In in um in your country, is that how did how did they deal with cell phones there? Uh, you can have them at school. You just can be on them during class. Yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah. Yeah, I. Yeah, but yeah, you know, like I was saying, teachers don't get paid enough, and the students nowadays are like really bad. I've heard like students cursing and that are cursing, and that they don't know how to read. I don't know if that's true, but uh, I've heard. But that I they feel don't like just taking away phones entirely is not going to solve that problem. It, it, it's nothing. I think they're I, two different problems. There, no one. It's no. It's not. I c it's not like we need to talk about it, because, like, it's nothing we can do, so, I mean, I... I had my hands on playing on, <laughs> playing on that switch at school during class once. Yeah. The teacher didn't notice, even though we were only with the That reminds me of, like, uh, like, fourth grade when I took my Game Boy to school. Okay. And uh, my teacher took it away for like two weeks and I had to have my mom go and get it back because it was like really like a really expensive cool thing I got as a gift and my oh, mom was really student. mad. Please pass. Please don't. And, oh, and so they it's okay. And that and I remember like it was in her drawer. She had like this locked drawer and I just couldn't even sleep at night. I was so upset. Like all she had to say was put it away or don't bring it again. And I would have happily complied, but she took it away and stuck it in her drawer and she said I wouldn't get back till the end of the school year. This was like in like That's October. Just messed so. up. I think stuff yeah. like that's not right. Uh, it's not right. My that mom, was like that like my times, mom but... my mom literally went and like yelled at them, so And it was pretty my teacher one of my teachers, um, known as Mr. Keeter. I'm very I was I'm very fortunate. Mm -hmm. I might like I'm never like i've never like had and like in the times i brought like any precious object of mine to school it was never like immediately confiscated it was like if i if i guess maybe if it was too much of a distraction it would be but it, but it, but it would all be given back to me at the end it's not like i never get to see it again my teacher mr teeter is pretty like pretty smart about um, phone usage. Basically, if he saw you using your phone at class, um, he would um, raise the number on the board. And he, he never actually had a real number. Like, you know, in hindsight, he never actually had a real number, but he said that um, like if he got, if it got to a certain undisclosed number, he would smash someone's phone at random kind of thing. What? Like, that's like, that's like abuse to tell a kid that. That's not abuse though, because, well, Well, one, because you would always were... worry, right? Wouldn't everyone always be worried that that number will hit, you know? Kind of, yeah, but like, fear. you never actually had a number. I and you don't live in fear because that? you don't have your phone out. Well, that, but yeah, it wouldn't be yours, but when you, I would worry about everybody else's. The mail passed my house. It's because I knew that he would never actually smash someone's phone. Um, which actually, I think on April I'm first, he right had back. someone. Okay. Yeah, I think he had someone fake, like have a fake phone, and then he smashed it. And everybody was like, "Whoa, that's crazy! That's messed up!" And he's like, "Just kidding! It's a uh, prank." April first, obviously, you know. That's yeah. Just a fake phone. I 
would be scared though. I'd be like, if I knew like sometime at some point, I would always be worried, but that's just me, I worry. Be sure that was uh, giving the class when my friend was playing on his Switch, wasn't very observant because I took my phone out and started taking pictures of my pet. And still they didn't catch it. Mm -hmm. So I have the pictures of my pen playing a uh, shovel knight above his desk. Yeah, I was... I used to... I'm glad, like, see, I'm so old that, like, cell phones were... Like, they were a thing when I was in high school, but they weren't, like, picture phones weren't. Because I would be taking pictures of everything. <laughs> they think I'm like trying like to like you, be bad. Yeah, yeah, like, you, no, did you, you see that? You remember the, the days yeah, when cell phones were that? Just phones. They weren't like yeah, computers. literally they were just phones. In elementary school, I I had a Nokia one. I don't I had. Don't die. <laughs> Back before you, they were little computers, you know. Cause now my phone, I get offended when my phone rings. I'm like, why are you ringing? Why is my Pokemon Go game ringing? Why is my Discord, you know, I'm on Discord. Why, why am I, why am I getting a phone call right now? Who's trying to interrupt my po Pokemon Go game? And then and I are like in a bit of a little challenge right now. He wants to hit level 50 before I hit level 49 and I want to hit level 49 before he hits level 50. I have 1.1 million to go. How many do you have, then? Like 2 million? 3 million? I should be um, like Yes, you like should. 2.5. So you have 2.5 to go, and I have 1.1 to go. So I, in theory, I should be able to hit level 49 before he hits level 50, but that's, again, that's a theory, because Nen is better it's than... Nen. Yeah. So... We'll see, though. I, I do more. I should have been um, during that XP event. I should have just broken down and did more egging, and and I, I have a lot of regrets with that event. I probably, I probably would already be forty nine. I, I probably should have done more egging, but at the same time, I don't think it would have really helped that much. Maybe extra hundred k. I, I would definitely are depending on how many eggs. See, I definitely would already be forty nine by now. There's no going around that. Probably like probably would have got probably like two million ish. But I didn't, and, uh, you know, what do you do? What do you do now? Ah, uh, that's messed what up. What do you do? Me and this what other person were just emoting together, and then, like, five people came up, and then one person, out of all of them, just shot him. Oh, no. You're like, that's my friend. Speaking of, I'm looking for a friend, because... I need to emote. That reminded me, I have a task. I'm trying to do all these challenges. I remember one of them was like emote in front of a enemy or something like that. Can't be focused on leveling up in Pokemon Go and in Fortnite. I think. That's And running uh, skate and working. Like, done yet, so. There's just, I, there's a lot, okay, a lot. I'm back. And some of them, I, there's no way. Welcome back. There's some of them, there's no way I'll be able to do them in time. It just won't, it just won't work out. Come on, the top. I took a little bit. Uh, I went and get some more Dr. Pepper. And I checked the mail, nothing. Not what I wanted to do. But they didn't put the mail in the mailbox. They put it on top of one of the boxes they delivered to. Oh, uh, yeah. Ours says that sometimes. Yep. Nick, gotta wait till tomorrow. Uh, I tried to eat more in front of him and the guy shot me in the head. What a jerk. Oh, no, I got it. I got it. <laughs> I got it. I got it. It was 25,000 XP. Nice. You think teachers are ever gonna get paid more? No. Not in the U.S. Yeah, yeah. yeah probably eventually. Maybe. I, don't know. I mean, technically, yeah. Professional yeah. athletes should be paid less. The price of years. inflation and everything. They'll probably eventually get an extra dollar. <laughs> Maybe they'll get an extra dollar an hour. Maybe, but then you know, the price of potatoes will go up a dollar. So. Yeah. You know, 
I don't, it's I really sad no, that we don't invest more in our teachers. Yeah. That's true, you're right. I just saw this <laughs> TikTok video of someone saying, you know what we should do after the, when the Olympics are over? Leave the equipment out and let random people try doing it and watch how they fail because they don't know how hard it is and they learn how hard it is. It That'd be funny. funny. <laughs> I'd love to go into like the gymnastics area. That'd be cool. Yeah, but you'd probably get hurt. Probably, but it'd be fun for a hot minute. <laughs> Before you break your leg. Oh problem. shoot! I don't think my thing is loaded again because I can't build. I don't remember to do that. Mm. Oh no, guys, we won. That's sad. Mm. Oh, that reminds me. One time I heard someone in took a raft into the Mississippi River, that and they had to like the Coast Guard had to get them, and I was in. Yeah, if you don't know, the Mississippi River is an extremely in the bigger parts of it. The it is currents, really bad currents. You cannot swim in that without drowning. Oh man! So, so yeah, just oh, it is like one of Mississippi. the biggest rivers in the U.S. Mm -hmm. So it's weird how it starts out as a ditch, though. Like it literally starts out as a ditch, and then it well, turns all, into well, like... all rivers do. Ooh, got pity coins. Hey Dusty, did you see the uh, Minecraft snapshot? Missed an old salt visit this morning. Yeah, I just briefly had a look at it. There's a lot of su surprise. There's a lot in it. My Isn't dad's that basically a new randomizer just with redstone wire now. Yeah, the new wow. We're gonna break a lot. The company that my dad works for. I've said this before, but that uh, my da the company my dad works for. He his boss pays people to dredge up sand from the uh, Mississippi River. Like, they use, like, a drill thing, and they pull it out of the bottom of the river, and then they, like, sell the sand. It's, an, it's actually needed to keep the river from overflowing, but needed to, you need to do that to keep the river from overflowing. So they take the sand, they sell it, and make a profit from selling the sand. Really cool. Sounds really cool. Yeah, they sell, like, they... They, they're like their trucking company. They truck, they move stuff and in trucks, and they haul and sell dirt, gravel, or sand, that kind of stuff. That's cool. Every it's like every other day though. My dad, my dad's the safety manager for the whole company, really? the whole state. Like Holy. He's a safety manager for the whole state, like all the company, and he has to deal with some really stupid stuff sometimes. Hmm. There's a lot drivers, of stupid people, so it makes yeah, sense. Yeah, a lot of times it's drivers not putting their bed down, and they take down power lines, and... Oh my god, some really dumb stuff. <laughs> oh, sometimes they accidentally How did drop, you get hired like that? And, and then they sometimes drop dirt and stuff on the road, middle of the road. Oh my uh, gosh. Then one got in a car accident a few weeks ago, but though it wasn't entirely this person's fault, it was just a terrible accident. Like, it, it, they they ended out okay. They turned out okay. They had to, like, their arm got pretty hurt, but they're okay now. And it wasn't their fault. Like, it, it, that wasn't a total, complete accident. The tire was, it was a curve. The tire went off, one tire stayed on, and then it just flipped. Wow. That sounds yeah. horrible. It, yeah, but some of the drivers are dumb. And my dad was talking about this morning how he keeps getting alerts on his phone about using their phone while driving they have cameras and stuff in the in the inside all the trucks that notify them whenever they someone's on their phone or not really uh-huh i feel like that can't really be that accurate because <laughs> it is it's it not 100 percent accurate i don't think but they were talking my dad was talking about like they have, they have footage of people on their phone when they're not supposed to and they te and they're supposed to do make sure they're not on their phones because you're supposed to be paying attention to the road, not texting a giant while driving a giant truck that weighs a hundred tons. Yeah, I would rather those guys like pay attention. We get behind sulfur trucks often, and every time I'm always like, uh, <laughs> like, I really hope that guy's paying attention. Yeah, some of them they have been stupid at times, and a few of them have gotten reprimanded a few times. A few, one got banned from a plant a few weeks ago. That was funny. Wow. They didn't pay attention to a drill because they were at a plant and they didn't pay attention to the announcements or whatever. And like they got stopped during the middle of like a bomb drill or something and like they got really in trouble. They got banned from the plant. Dang. 
Yeah. yeah. Overall, it's a nice company. And then do you but... know where the... I'm here trying to... It says I have to interact with something. My dad's been with them for like a few uh... years now. Like six, seven years maybe. Or five. More like five years. Five or six years. He's been with them. Oh, Wastelander Challenge or something? Yeah, I don't see... I'm over here at this place. I'm supposed to interact with something, but I don't see anything to interact hey, with. Yeah, I don't think that's in Rumble. Oh, oh, and also, yes, I have okay. asked my dad to ask his boss to let me have a job there once more than once, and they said now, so. Mm -hmm. He's rich. He is rich, but he started the company from scratch. Like, he wasn't rich, then he became rich because he made a coal company, so. Yeah. Let me see what else I can do then. Um, it's a wastelander challenge, yeah, okay. All those are done, so all my jump starts are done. Oh, um, sorry. I think I've narrowed down what I want to go to college for. I think. Yeah? What's yeah, slide just, kick a player? How do you slide kick a player? I, sorry. I'm just I'm, into them. I've oh my decided. Gosh, I did it. Okay. I, out of the three, aerospace, civil, and software engineering, I've decided software engineering is most likely the best route. It would fit with most of my parameters. I. Oh, that's cool. Oh, but of course I have to do two years of a community college for which is the main point right now, trying to figure that out, so. Though I could change my mind before the two years is over, so you never know. Well, that's the nice thing about going to community college first is you'll just get, like, your basic stuff done. And, um, and that can, and then that way if you decide to change what you want to do, um... It's easy because you can, you're already have your basic education down, and you can just switch. So. Yeah, my parents think that software engineering is the best because it's on a computer, and I can probably understand that. And they think it's more possible than the other stuff that they find think is super hard for me and would never be able to do. So. Yeah. I'd rather do something else, but honestly, I just find software engineering fits with everything I need. And who? And no one says I can't do it. Do another type of engineering in the future, like no one says I can't. Yeah, that's true. Oh, it's possible. Yep, it's the beauty of the future. Yeah. Yep. Same, same, and same. You know what the small one fact that I want I keep hearing is that it's not that. The reason they got number two is because it's not because a lot of people are buying Dr. Pepper, because the people who are buying Dr. Pepper are buying it in bulk. <laughs> they buy it like in six. At Costco? Seven. That and they also at Costco. They, bought, they, buy, that it, really? they buy it in like tons, and I'm like, I mean, they're not wrong. My dad does have currently six, five or six cartons of uh, Dr. Pepper. But that was because they were on sale. Uh, we drink I, um, Dr. Pepper Zero. Dr. I think Burgess the thing I don't understand cars. is why Coke and Pepsi is number one, or number one, or, and we're number two for the longest time. I, colas don't taste good. Like, they don't taste like sodas, in my opinion. Like, uh, I think Evan would strongly disagree with you because he's addicted. Colas are the worst. There's a certain so way to wear that I don't. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to be bi- There's just per certain YouTuber I'm starting not to like anymore, so... You don't want to be bi? You can be bi. <laughs> I used to like this YouTuber, but I don't anymore because there's allegations against him that are really bad, so... Oh, that's always ruins things, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it, and it's one that Nin particularly likes. Oh, okay, hold up then. I have a, I know a lot about that person, and a lot of that has been already proven to be false. There's um, Evan would be a great one to talk to about that because Evan um has looked heavily, heavily, heavily into it, and we have we have both seen videos about them that were made to make things sound really, really bad that were not bad at all. Oh, and if you're yeah. talking about the most recent, like the thing about Jake the Viking's brother-in-law, you need to look at what Jake the Viking said about it because like even he who doesn't like him anymore, who doesn't like the YouTuber anymore, even he corrected a lot of that and said that that was really twisted. So the and thing about bad. being in solitary confinement for like uh, breaking the Geneva Convention, that wasn't true? Are you talking about Mr. Beast? Yes. 
I didn't even hear that one. I, when, when someone's kicked down and people come out of the woodworks with all this stuff, you have to really look at one thing. The person that's saying it, what what are they gonna benefit from? Like, how are they how are they gonna benefit from from this? And and if there's a way they benefit, take whatever they say with a grain of salt. Meaning, like, look into it to make oh, sure it's right. Yes, they're probably because trying to push an few... agenda that's not necessarily. Yeah, they're pushing agendas. People are doing things to get likes yeah. and boost their own channels. Yeah, I don't know. There's, and there's, the some thing. Le there's a legal guy that Evan follows, and the guy did a whole legal thing on. He's like a lawyer, legal yeah, something. Yeah, and yeah. he even was like, yeah, this is all just frivolous, like, basically, yeah, like, oh, don't look at the... I well, keep so what, of what Magic is person. talking about there, is, there was, um... There, it, no, I just want to say something real quick. Okay, hurry up. Uh, th there's this <laughs> person that said that they got messages from like so many people saying that about some show that they were doing for Amazon Prime that it was they were treated really badly or whatever, and messages and then, then there was a solitary. Component. That's all fake. That's um, all fake. It's it's it, not because it like people believe it. Like it's the, the so thing about those ones is uh, those people signed an NDA and if they have a problem with the show, they bring it up with Amazon themselves. Yep. Like and two, they, why are they, they waiting all this time? Like, they Why can't now? say something, like, online about it, unless it's, like, something actually, like, illegal and in place, the one nobody the, has The legal of, guy so. literally said it's all, he, he was like, no, it's um, not correct. Okay, the thing correct. Magic was talking about originally was, um, one of, uh, Mr. Beast contestants in, like, kind of the earlier days who competed for $300,000, um, where they had to stay in, like, all, like, you know, like they they were by themselves and all that for in a row. I don't even remember how long. Thirty. Um, but wasn't that yeah. the contest? Wasn't that the contest though? Yeah, they were yeah. just talking about how the conditions were really bad and that they should have the been contest. better. Yeah, but, but just but because why, it is not, doesn't make it now? humane, you know. Exactly, and why bring it up now? Why when he's already down because of the Ava Chris stuff? Like why? Like. To me right now, you, I look at who's saying it, what will they benefit from saying it, and then um, why now? Why not say something way back then when, you know, all this stuff kind of had first come out, so... so. Okay, so pretty much the, he, the stuff is fake and he's still an okay person. He's a wonderful person. I have, like, it's, I, I'm a big believer in, like, do your own homework on that kind of stuff, and, like... Who are, we even, who are we even talking about, or... Mr. Beast. Okay. I'd say like, like he's he's still a really good person and he does good things. But he just made mistakes in his past. Like, I mostly just stuff that like. Well, he didn't you know, know how to run He hired the wrong the person yeah. or um, yeah. You know, well, uh, if you don't mind, all I'm that kind of stuff. Anyways, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Is that okay? Now that I know. I'd rather not play with it, okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. And if you have questions, just ask later, like, because this has come up multiple times in multiple calls, and yeah. it's oh. it's better to correct someone when they're you're hearing misinformation, it, you know? It's also important to know that he hasn't uh, responded to allegations and stuff yet, because he's waiting for, like, the person who was making most of the allegations, like, was, like, making one like last video or whatever on it. Yeah, and, and there's and legal he was stuff waiting too. for the allegations and all that, which is, I think is important to recognize because, I mean, he hasn't, we haven't heard from both the people, or, you know, we haven't heard from both sides. Yeah, and he has really smart lawyers that are telling him, the only thing I will say that he kind of, the legal guy did say he kind of made some mistakes on is in that very early days, uh, kind of like Ben said, a little bit with hiring people, not doing really the best of background checks. And also, um, I guess, uh, like, being, like, people being able to win a contest a little differently. And even that, the lawyer said, in most states, is not even literally anything. Like, he, he didn't know how to run a business. He grew so fast. He'd be like, yeah, let's do this, let's do that, and didn't quite know the whole legal side of it. But even the lawyer guy was like, nah, like... This guy, he's I fine. Mean, yeah. Like none of this it's would also, even stand up in court. So like, it's you just, can't fault um, him for not being the best at business when he is literally the, just a kid making. The main YouTube thing videos. was the illegal lotteries, but that not, was not what I was talking about. Literally I don't that. Think those yeah. were, like what he did was awesome. technically illegal. It, it, and and that, that's what the legal guy said. He said it wasn't technically illegal. It was just people just can say it wasn't done. Right. Workers badly. That's not 
Um, the only people that have said that are people that have been fired. And what does that tell yeah. you? Yeah, you see. <laughs> Who gains from it? Like, you have to look at that stuff. Um, and why wait till now? Why not say something the minute you were fired, right? Why say something when you know this guy's right now down because so many people are, you know, doing this stuff to him? It's really sad to me, if anything. It's really yeah. upsetting. Like, he's a good guy. I, in, my, in my book, he's still a good guy. Yeah, yeah. I'm after my music. Okay. <laughs> I'm over here killing fools. Regardless, he's home with so many people that didn't have homes before. Mm -hmm. He, that's the sad part is that to know that some of this stuff could end, all the good work he does could end because, because people are just being selfish and not thinking, you know, he does a lot of good. I'm not saying he hasn't made mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes, but like, he hasn't made the bad mistakes in my opinion. So. Is this one almost mm. over? Oh, it is. Oh, you know, Ooh, I did art show I would. At that art show I was at, whenever we were selling stuff for the 3D printer, I I was talking about how one of the special ed teachers' the husband makes wood stuff. They had so many nice little, like, wo like old wood sticks that he sanded down and polished that were good walking sticks. I call them staffs, of course, because, you know, I'm a staff magic -y person. They did look like staffs, though. I would have <laughs> bought some, but I really didn't want to spend the money I just got to... Mm, I get that. Ali, how are you? You've been so quiet. No, I'm just listening to what everyone else has been saying. Louder. It's all. How are you, Pizza? How are you, Victor Man? Sorry I didn't join earlier, Pizza. I woke up with a really bad headache. In fact, then I was trying to tell you, I actually ran up to Old Salts really quick um, to get a drink because I needed massive caffeine because I was just a horrible, horrible headache. So I woke up really bad headache today. I'm doing okay. I'm just right now get out from work. Oh, how was work today? Crazy. Mm. Because we have inventory check and they all of our swans, <laughs> special forms, all missing where we cannot use it anymore. Oh, well, I need to switch, probably switch to tunnel. Yeah. Oh, why? Yeah, because because I've been taking ibuprofen so much. I remember you saying that the other day. Yeah, I take I, I I get the I'll headache. Be, I can still listen, but I'll be right back. I I take it every other day, and like I probably shouldn't. Like uh, my pappy got in a medical accident once with that stuff. So probably shouldn't take ibuprofen. No, I'm sorry to hell up. You, no, you he's fine. He's fine now. No, I just no. If you take like too much ibuprofen for a long period of time, it can cause ulcers. I take only when I'm sick. That's it. The UI is so small in this game. This is so sad. Okay, I'm back. Uh, just so you know, Magic, you gotta take a lot to get a stomach ulcer, and you'd have to take it, like, a lot. Like, like, you know, multiple times a day. Like if you're taking 800 milligrams, that's four. If you're taking that like three to four times a day for years, yeah, you'll get a stomach ulcer probably. But um, for just taking it like every other day or something for like headaches or whatever, you, you should be okay. Uh, you can try Tylenol. Tylenol doesn't work the best for me, at least not for things like headaches. I prefer Advil or ibuprofen, but yeah. you know, see what works for you yeah. and if you start well, to not feel good stomach wise after you take it you yeah. know talk to your doctor and say yeah that's yeah the only reason i worried about it because my pappy had that happen but he did take it a lot for a long time because he yeah had so probably pain. like years we're talking like probably like yeah, 20 30 years born. multiple times yeah exactly and multiple times a day and if you take it multiple times a day so if he has pains like our 
arthritis or like pain from his accident or whatever, you know, like um, he's probably taking a lot and multiple times yeah, a day. Yeah, he takes so. probably, I think he takes prescribed medicine too. Mm, so it could be a combination of all he of that. He has a lot stuff. of scars from that accident, like so many surgeries I had to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he probably was on lots of different pain meds, you know, for a while. Mm -hmm. Most likely. Didn't have to have been, but you know. That reminds me Typically that with that, it goes with had that. had a hip replacement. Ouch. I don't know why. Yeah. Uh, they needed on. a new hip. Sometimes you just yeah. want new hips, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they they were out for a while and they had a substitute. Actually, I saw the substitute at my, at a, a, the art show, actually. Oh, cool. I saw a, good, a few people. Also, I really gotta be careful when I'm asking for coffee at coffee shops, because they I got a, I didn't get enough sugar last time I got a coffee, and there wasn't enough sugar. Ugh, I can't stand coffee that's not sweet. I like a little bit of coffee. I like a little bit of coffee with my cream and sugar. Yes. Get it backwards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like Starbucks is amazing because I'm like, okay, I know it'll be nice and sweet. Uh, let's see, eliminate player. I still need to eliminate players. Click bars from eliminated. Eliminate a boss. Nope, there's no medallion. Secure forecast data. Is there a forecast data? Do you know in, in this? Probably not. Nope. Okay, so some of this I'm not going to be able to do unless I can collect. No, so it's. I think I might be getting to where. I... You know Before what? I, really look, one... I saw so much. You know what? You. Really makes me sad. It's What's that? The story of this train of late that we had, we have, is it was a long time ago they shut down a loop in a railroad that went across a lake, and they left the poor steam engine to sink into the water and rot. Oh, no. And now you can messed only, up. Yeah, and now you can, now you can go see, you can see like parts of the steam engine, but most of it's rotted away. It's just like a boiler now. Oh. Like, who wastes an engine like that? They're beautiful works of Probably art machinery. Probably know someone that doesn't care about trains, but... Yeah. I, I mean, I understand they're bad for the environment a little bit, but in moderation, it can be okay. But it's... And also, Nothing. it's not like... It's Everything not like, can be bad for the environment. <laughs> also, it doesn't... It pales in comparison to, well, like, you know... And people don't. I mean, oh, maybe back in the use. days were steam engines in wide were in wider use, sure, but not today. Yeah. Honestly, we would produce less emissions and stuff if we used yeah. steam engines more. Because yeah, Especially because in the because, US, we, we, don't because have... we're because like we could have trains that could carry hundreds of people, as opposed exactly. to everybody having their own car, their own vehicle, like it is in the U.S. Yeah, I yep. would like Agreed. it. I have agree, more, 100 like, public this. transportation because that'd be really help me because I can, a problem with me going to college is that I can't get there, so I yeah. don't have anyone to bring me. And I am not going to drive no matter what. I, I will not. I will not. I just, it's one thing it's okay. I okay. Not everyone home. drives. Don't worry about that. All right, my bike is working. I've seen too many, you hear too many car accidents. Also, I am very tall. I really don't think the car is very tall, actually. I'm oh, like, huh? Yeah, I'm just like six foot, so, like, exactly like six foot, so. Hmm. <laughs> I'm exactly yeah. five foot seven. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm probably a little taller now. I haven't been to the doctor in a bit. Oh, that reminds me, my, one of our friends is now a doctor at the. Clinic I go to, so I'll be seeing them next time I go. So. That's cool. Is it a guy or a girl? Girl. Hey, girl! I know you. <laughs> what you doing at the doctor's office? Oh, you're a doctor. I, I think she got like an upgrade, job-wise. Like she went from like nurse practitioner to like assistant doctor or something. A PA. Yeah. Probably a I PA. They're like a physician assistant. assistant. Yeah, physician yes, assistant. That's it. Okay. Physician assistant. Yeah, so there's a nurse practitioner. It goes, I think it goes RN. Well, it goes CNA, LPN, RN, uh, nurse practitioner, and then a PA, which is a physician assistant, and then a physician. So, yeah, that's a good job. Mm -hmm. Then, yeah. BB's I mean, almost it's an been RN. A while since we visit them. I, 
visited her. I we used to visit them a lot after the incident that happened with her husband, but Ooh, spill the tea. Uh, it, uh, uh, he tried to swim after a boat that was in the water and drowned. Oh no, that's really sad. Yeah, they they did a I lot think. of awareness stuff, wearing life jackets stuff for a while. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. yeah. Also, I you think. won't believe what I saw on TikTok. One of my favorite TikTok kitty cats has passed away. The, uh, the I Go Meow cat? No, no. I Go Meow. I Go no. Meow. I no, go meow. this one. It's uh, They're called Reznard. Not many people. They're like, they have like one or two million followers on TikTok. Oh my gosh. Cat, cats have more followers than people do. <laughs> I know. I'd rather follow a cat any day than a human, though. I mean... <laughs> The cat Happily the, follow a cat. I don't know. Even yeah, fuck, but cats are cool. Man, yeah, it's sad. The cat was like 14 or 17 Aww. or something like that. And I'll have to see if Riley knows them. She follows they, a lot of they, cats. Reznard. They live in Canada. And actually, two cats died very close together. The, just the main one for the account died. He's so cute. He was a munchkin. People said that it, he was That's fat That's Nin's favorite cat. Nin he, loves a, the munchkin cat. <laughs> he, he he has a big primordial pouch in his, and he has multiple f more toes than normal. And people were saying she was abusing him when she, he's literally that the way he is because of medical conditions. And he is like 14 or 15 and early. Uh, hey, 14 or 15 is a pretty good life for a cat. So, mm -hmm. well, poor actually, me. um. It's poor kitty. I, I I cried when the I go meow cat died. Like I literally sat in my room. I like Riley had morning. sent me, Riley sent me like a TikTok or a reel or something showing me the cat, the I go meow cat died, and I was just like, what, what? No, no! <laughs> and I was crying. Yeah, I, was, I cried. I was when we like, were at the car dealership. All these jerk people oil. in the world. And like my good cat died. Yeah, we were That's at sad. the car dealership and yeah. I saw it and I was like, ugh, I cry. I didn't cry horribly. It's okay but... to cry. Yeah, of course, kitty. It's always okay to cry. Yeah. I usually cry. I'll be right back. When mm -hmm. I see kitty old school, uh, old school stuff. I love Just Dance. Too bad it costs so much. I know. I mean, like, you still have the free songs, but then you have to pay for a place to strip. Yeah, I actually canceled that recently, uh, because I had got it from last time. But, um, yeah. <laughs> it, it's like $30 a year. $30 a year? Jesus Christ. Caleb. What is Ubisoft doing? Ubisoft, you have like one job and that was to make your prices cheaper. I'm watching this one video of a streamer that actually got to dance in their one uh, just dance video. Like they flew to Paris and they were able to like do their own video. And they're really good. Oh, it was really? Yeah, they got to do it and they were very happy that they were able to like be in a video. And I like this song is pretty good. And her oh, where is it? Wanna party all night, all night, dancing her. Do you think you could send me the video somewhere of the guy doing the stuff? Uh, wait, what? Do you think you could send me the video of the guy doing the first at some point? The f doing the what? You said that there was a guy that you watched that went to Paris to film, are you able to send me that video? Oh yeah, that, it, it's not a guy though, it's a girl. She flew to Paris to, uh, to, to do... Oh, uh, very bad. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, let's see, share... Is it okay if I put it in voice chat? Yeah, that's fine. And he was fine with a reason. I, this is the video. This is someone playing it, but that's the, the person. I follow them on TikTok and stuff. That was the video. Uh, they're like Lily's 
something? I don't remember. Uh, it's been like a while since I've like seen people um, just do the dances and so just dance again. So they picked a good song for this. It's called "Can't Tame Her." So I've never listened to a Zara Larson song in like ages. So I don't know. I just realized they were making music still. Mm -hmm. I'm just glad my, that reminds me. I'm glad my knee hasn't been in a place any time any late life. That's over. <laughs> Those times were over. Oh no. That was not the best time I had at the doctor. Even though I still refuse to get on that table. I remember that magic. I remember that happening. I feel like yeah. I've known you a really long time now. <laughs> yes. Every day like, I'm like, I remember that. <laughs> like, I went on the table. You went to the doctor, got on the table, and then something happened on the table, and next thing you know you're in the emergency room because... Your kneecap came out of place, all because you went to the doctor. I remember that. Yes, and I had it was because <laughs> I had like partially passed out and when mm -hmm. I was trying to leave the classroom. Yep, I remember. Because I I wasn't feeling good and then I like collapsed. I didn't pass out, pass out, but my legs gave out and went to the doctor. And then and, getting on the table, you dislocated your knee. And they left it dislocated two hours. Well, I remember. Oh, I remember. I remember being really upset with it. Like I don't. If the regular doctor would have been there, he said he would have told me before he would have just pushed it in. They, they waited two hours pumping me with meds. Yep. Yep, I remember that. And they put me to sleep to put it in, and then it was finally done. Okay. I gotta go spend bars. Oh, Anywhere so to spend bars over here? Oh, oh here's the man machine. And also, I, I think I learned that pain medicine doesn't really stop the pain all the way. Really no. Is. It doesn't. I hate doctors. Also, I hate I. That was the one time where I've ever had an IV that that was like when I was awake. Like I ugh. can't think of that. The needle and the stairs put me to death. I hate getting my blood drawn. Also, that's also something I hate. You know, I heard that someone was posting stuff about a new, a new like, needle called, made of gallium that's supposed to melt whenever it gets into your bloodstream since it What? The needle melts? Yes, it, gallium what? is... So it, the needle goes in, and then once it hits your bloodstream, which is what it has to hit, uh, then it just melts? Well, it doesn't completely uh, melt. The body heat, right the body heat, like I, softens it. I it would softens say no. It. Thank still, you. <laughs> it stays. It stays together, but it like softens it a lot. Yeah. No thanks. Hard pass. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, call me so crazy, but I don't want melting needles <laughs> in my body. They they made it because they didn't want to accidentally use a needle twice. But I'm like, but I'm also like, they don't leave the needle in. Also. And also, like, wouldn't that be when? Also, is I guess we're guessing metal poisoning is no longer a concern. No, gallium's not poisonous. It's not. Oh. It's non toxic. It's sometimes they get mixed up with mercury because they look alike. But gallium's non toxic. I've seen people put it in their mouths when they're not supposed to. But like, they, it really. Oh, I I, I it, heard I heard it's not toxic, but it's but literally true. Sound? Like you can literally eat gallium and it's not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Sounds fun. Think I'm gonna have to pass yeah, no, that the one. The reason though. it's so, such a fun metal, though, is because it melts at body temperature. Like, it you can like hold molten metal in your hand without burning yourself. Yeah. Yeah, and without okay. giving yourself metal poisoning, unlike mercury. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I can't. I still can't believe how the in old times mercury was used so much and stuff. Not to mention the lead makeup. There's a lot of animes whenever a few animes I've seen whenever this person gets reincarnated into an anime world that they make met they they and they're already a pharmacist, they make like met, they make face makeup that doesn't have lead in it because they know the makeup from that time period has lead in it. <laughs>
<sighs> yeah. Animes are all. Uh, you believe I've been stressed out about anime a lot recently, actually. <laughs> Mostly because I haven't. I'm I'm worried about watching shows and not being able to watch them and like make wanting to watch them all at once and I can't and it's I'm stressed it's stressful. <laughs> Trying to make sure I have all the ones on my list that are possible that I would like, and yeah. Also, this website that Bobby gave me isn't working anymore. Oh, really? That stinks, because that's how I watch Freeland. Well, for me, it's not working. I looked it up, and it says that it could be like your internet provider blocked it or something, and I'm like, I don't know. Uh, I'll tr and I was using an ad blocker, too. You know how hard it was to set up an ad blocker? <laughs> Oh, yeah. It's gonna just a Chrome extension you download. Okay, yes it is. Well, and I'm using... maybe. <laughs> Honestly, I, I might try using it in a different browser. I put it on Safari because that's what I always use. <laughs> Even though when you use Safari, it just ends up turning into Google. Oh, I forgot to so, think the bus trailer. Are you talking about like on your phone or? Yeah, on your a cell phone. Oh. Yeah, I don't watch anime on my computer. I'd never watch anime on my computer. Hi, Tully. Hi, Tully. Hi, Tully. Yeah. How was school today? And it, and this is the only way I can watch some animes because, like, I can't afford to mm. buy all the streaming services that they have. Yeah, no, I get that. Uh, ask Bobby. There's a secondary one. He, there's two that are connected. He maybe he can give you the other one. Yeah. And Norway is Norway. Like, from, I still pay for, like, Crunchyroll because I still like to do that, but I, I'll probably get rid of it once it, once they up the price, because they're going to at the end of the year. I'm pretty sure I heard they're going to go from, like, $8 to $10. Everybody, I'm so tired of everybody up in the prices, because, like, paychecks haven't oh, did you hear learned about to the match Disney that yet. You heard about the Disney no. lawsuit that's been going around? Okay, so in 2023, a couple went to a restaurant at Disney, and this woman was allergic to dairy and nuts. And they told the staff multiple times, and the staff assured them that there was no nuts or dairy in the food. They, mm -hmm. the girl, woman eats the food, has an allergic reaction, dies. And now oh Disney saying, died? yeah, and Disney, and now they're suing Disney, but because they said because th that he signed up for the husband signed up for Disney Plus in 2019 for a free trial, that the that the um there's a term the agreeing to the terms means you can't sue them anymore because you agree to those terms. What? <laughs> so I guess this is why you should always read the fine print, huh? <laughs> Because he signed That's it. ridiculous. And it was a free no. trial. He stopped, he only used it for the free trial, and and since he did it, in I'm sure they'll get a lawyer. That I feel like, like I feel like, like um I feel like there should be some kind of law precedent that says that um, contracts that say that you can't sue them are I've, void or something. Because I, I've heard yeah, contracts like that are messed up. Also, I've heard that the lawyers for the husband have. Make kind of come up with a way to negate that because they, yeah, I'm sure the they will. Who, the, the person they said that even if that's true, the, the, the husband is suing on behalf of the wife, and the wife didn't sign up to that. The husband, she died, did. yeah. Oh, so, I'm sure there is like, I, I'm sure there is lots of ways that they can, like, um, I am the amount of bad things that they've done, and like trying to make someone not be able to sue them because. It's their negligence. They, they got a person killed because they didn't listen. And that's horrible. Yeah, yeah people suck. Uh, that's why I'm just I'm just glad my nephew doesn't have allergies. I was scared that I was gonna have like a peanut allergy or something. I have a peanut and... allergy, but mine didn't develop till I hit age thirty. Like yeah. literally, one day I could have them, and the next day I got covered in yeah. hives. Yeah. The other, actually, we had a video of him like. Digging in the peanut jar, peanut butter jar. Well, peanut butter is delicious, so I get that. He was like, then likes peanut butter. <laughs> he was having 
fun eating peanut butter in her. Hopefully he's not allergic to anything. We go through a lot of peanut butter in our house, like, a lot. I just hope he's never gonna be allergic to anything, and that would be nice. We don't. I'm like, almost... Okay, so go through a lot of peanut butter? No, and... Um, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches are cheap. <laughs> it's a cheap way to eat PB&Js. I don't like PB&J. I, I never liked them. Really? No, I used to like them as kids. I don't like peanuts, them, like but I liked peanut butter and jelly. Because the jelly was clean. Mmm, Nutella. Yum. I don't know if it's keto friendly. I, actually, I can have Nutella, I think. I think it's peanuts I can have. Yeah, I can have Nutella because it's almond. Yeah. <laughs> it's expensive, though. <laughs> wow, well, the cheese yeah, man's so better. Yeah. Oh, Blue, you don't have an Aldi where you live? Ah, uh, no. We have, like, our town has really just one gr one grocery store in that Safeway, and then we have another one called The Market that's more, like, organic-y, like, Okay, uh, well, I really wish you had all these, like, kombucho just, kind of stuff. Like we said yesterday, the stuff there is much cheaper than any other, yeah. because, because they sell off-brand stuff, and the off-brand stuff is good, so... Yeah. Really, we, no. in, in, like, uh, a town over, um, like, like, uh, like, a half hour away-ish, um, there is something called, um, Grocery Outlet, and they have, like, off-brand kind of stuff. Their stuff is a lot cheaper. They don't have off-brand stuff. They don't have, like, generic stuff? Mm, not for the most part. It's pretty on brand. Uh, oh, well, they have, like, they're the ones that, but like, if the can the is dented, stuff. like, you get it. Like, they sell, like, the stuff that didn't sell, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah. That's why I like Aldi. My sister gets to afford food easier. And... Yeah. Like, the, we, the other day, I was like, you got this much stuff for, like, $80? And I was like, yeah, I, like $80 wow. is nothing for food these days. Like, nothing. Like, nothing. Like, that's, like, full, that's, like, two meals. That's, she like, got a, it. You got a full basket full of stuff, and I was like, wow. Only $80 for, like, all this? Like, she got a bunch of frozen stuff and produce. And still, well, not much wow. produce, because... Wow. But you got like bread, the essentials, and a bit yeah. diapers. You buy like diapers. a little bit at a time. She doesn't like the oldie diaper, though. So she uses them, but she doesn't like the oldie diaper. I mm, my grocery outlet at $200 is probably about the full cart. Yeah, or I was gonna say, we ride a cart for about $200, 220 and that's not with like like extra stuff like you know that you know isn't really per se food related that's that's not that so that's just like bread cheese some meat um you no, know it's like, like a full, full cart. I was at my well, it's a full cart but it's not like splurge stuff is what i'm trying to say it's not like chocolate cakes and like you know like stuff we I don't at, when i was at my know. sister's house today we had some fun with with my nephew he was he was like really happy and giggly. He's usually always happy and giggly, you know. Aww. So he, so he, we were tickling him, like holding him upside down, and. Oh, fun. He's, he's, How's she feeling? She, I think she's feeling okay. Good. But I'd rather not talk about it with, on a video. So. Oh, that's fine. No worries. Yeah, but uh, like I was saying, he was trying to climb into his crib, and also he has a lot of the old books I used to have when I was little, like. And he, honestly, I'm um, sad because he's kind of destroying some of them. And they're like really yeah, old books. kids are gonna kid. They're really old books, and they kind of mean a little bit. The bookshelf means a lot to my parents actually, because the bookshelf was made by my mom's dad's mom. No, sorry, my mom's mom's dad. Oh, that's cool. Like a bookcase. Yeah, he was like a carpenter. He like he made all kinds of stuff. He has a whole shed in the back made by himself. Oh, that's like, cool. I like, that's so awesome when, like, oh. he's He made so much stuff. The, we're lucky the shed's still up because my pappy was, took a lot of time to make it, to fit, replace the tin panels and, and look, make sure it doesn't fall apart. He uses it. He puts his tools in there now. He did, they, and they cleaned it out a few years ago and now it's like harsh for their tractor and stuff. Yes, my pappy has a tractor because he wanted to buy, to buy a lease, and he bought a lease, and now he has a tractor for that lease. Ooh. With a special trailer. That's cool. Yeah. 
they like the Lisa. They go in the camper a lot. They just got a new camper, actually. It's really nice. Your puppy? No, his son, my uncle. He they oh, got okay. a new camper, and they use it. That for makes the more sense. Yeah. Yeah, they use it for Lisa. The camper's really nice. It has the bunk beds and yeah. It would be it would be cool to be one of those people who live who travels and lives in a bus or whatever. That'd be fun. But I could ne probably never do it because I need a giant tub and all my stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, I don't like parents that do that to film that because there's a lot of them who like have their kids in multiple bunk beds in a bus and like they won't treat them well and then they're just making money off of. Them for videos and uh, honestly, I oh, hate... like YouTubers, like yeah, I've vlog vlog channels. I used to like them, but now I don't. Like I've learned how bad I... they are. There's so much like corruption in them; it's unreal. Like there was this person who got arrested for something, and like they're treating their kids bad, and like yeah, I just don't like. There's maybe I saw one an autism one that really made me want to like pull my hair out, and it was like. This mom that was like purposely upsetting her nonverbal son just for a video, and it ended up being it was all a lie. Like the whole thing was a lie for for likes and stuff. And the kid was literally being kind of like verbally abused in the process. It was really upsetting. Yeah. I don't know. And for what? For clicks? For likes? There really for should be like, more laws against that. Like there yeah, should be regulation. There really should be regulation. At least there's a few work. laws now that uh, have kids, kids like. Yeah. Nah. And they actually have like, you know, rights also, heard... and child labor laws. Oh, and it looks like uh, Lego's advertising stuff on YouTube right now. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I have YouTube open and like one of the logos has Lego. What was this saying? That reminds me of this person I heard about. I don't know what the real name is, so I'm just saying Honey Boo Boo because I don't know what the real name is. But is it they... the, the, the Honey Boo Boo child? Yeah, she, she was mad at her mom for not saving the money. Go to college or whatever. Yeah, so that's kind of jacked up because the literal whole show was about her, the little girl, Honey Boo Boo Child. <laughs> I mean, the mom ended up being a huge meme at the end, but it's like, yeah, the parents profit yeah. off of their kids and then, and then get oh, nothing for also it. Also, my my sister it ruins their childhood. Sure, the other day, uh, of my sister's husband's cousin with someone that's rather. Known or well known around here, where I live. Like celebrity wise? No, like they did something. They did something they weren't supposed to, but they were treated badly. Last name Rose. Oh, oh my God, Gypsy? Yes. Oh wait, how do you? What's the relation? Uh, she, my sister's husband's cousin was t took a picture with her. Oh, I actually have seen like all of her documentaries. Like Riley and I are like yes, kind of fans. Yes, uh, they live. Uh, she lives like in Baton Rouge, I think, around here. Oh, that's crazy! I didn't even know that. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah the whole thing was. Gypsy Rose. I'll send you a link to one of her documentaries. Yeah. Uh, we can't really. It's kind of hard to talk about it yeah, on here. It has to do with one thousand by a proxy. Yeah, but that's their mom was here. Cool. Also, I don't want to say too much because I don't want to give away. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, they live, they live around here. You should, they, they live around here and... Um, They're out of jail now. Yeah, I know they are. Uh, yeah, well, of course. They, duh, they, they just took the picture. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. Riley keeps yeah. up to date with my her parents, quite a bit. My parents don't really like her. I'm kind of... <laughs> problem with that. It's okay, you're fine. Um, It's called... um, It's called Mommy, Dead, and Dearest. Um, APL. On Netflix, I think it's on Netflix. Mommy, Dead and Dearest. So if you want to Google that, it's a it's a documentary about um, what happened. You know that to her. Me of, uh, Genealogy is awesome, Telly. Like, that reminds me of a show that wasn't a show; it was a movie. Like it was like a movie of about a my psychotic stepmother or something. And I watched. I love it. shows like that. <laughs> yeah, it was like it was so intense. Like the stepmother. At first, they made it seem like the woman, the the mother, like this. Step, they made it seem like the purse. They made it seem like the stepmother's daughter's new stepmother is. They made it seem like she was the bad guy. But once you got more into it, you started to learn who the real bad guy was. And 
Yeah, there you go, Pale. I sent you like um the photo yeah. of what it looks like. They like she threw pushed her down twenty feet. Well, it, she was a rich painter. She broke into the house even though she was living there, ruined her house, and then pushed her off the balcony and broke Jeez. her. Oh, and she was a nurse. So guess who was helping her recover? Wait, 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 wait. Hold the phone. Was this on the world's worst roommate? The other, like, because I just watched, I love the show World's Worst Roommate, like, season I don't two know. just I was watching on Netflix. It, on, it was on TLC, so it was Oh, on okay. So this girl, yeah, like, literally her roommate wanted to, like, steal her kid and, like, actually bought MRSA, like, off of, like, the dark web and, like, was, like, putting it into, like, because she had fallen down and kind of the same thing, like, broke her back or whatever. And she, her roommate, who was, like, taking care of her, actually was trying to kill her. So that she could take her autistic son, it was psycho. If you guys haven't seen the show World's Worst for Roommate, yeah, it's really interesting. Like, this one I think it's on Netflix. It's like in like their number one Netflix. Married her son, so she didn't oh like God. the rich lady, and then she like. Uh, broke but why do people feel like they need to kill? <laughs> like, why not just? Well, walk she didn't away? kill. No one died. No one died. Like, the thing that she just she wanted to hurt her. She ended up going to jail for. And she like Good. when she was trying when the rich lady was trying to like start doing stuff again, like she started putting medicine in her coffee and stuff to make her f think that she's not doing well again. And oh my, that's that's uh, like Munchausen, so that's similar to. Um, well, it wasn't Munchausen. She just didn't like her because she married well, her daughter. Oh, okay, you're right. So it wasn't for her own personal gain of attention. It was for um, like revenge. Or, okay, so she's just an evil person. Never mind. <laughs> um, I'm actually very excited for that, Telly. Very excited for yeah, that. I, I saw your message earlier. I've been laying down quite a bit today and uh, talked to April for a little bit today, and I'm just I'm. You know I what? I woke up with a really bad headache today. You know what I was told that Scooby Doo weren't Scooby Doo movies weren't horror movies, and I was like, that is completely wrong. Because when I was little, we were terrified, scared watching those movies. Really? That Scooby Doo? Yes. What about Coraline? Are you one of the ones that would say Coraline was a horror movie? Uh, yes. That is a horror movie. I don't yeah, care what you say it is. A lot of people say it is. I never thought it was, I don't, but I was wonder what I don't want to watch. I love Coraline. Well, oh, the same way that E.T. is an all horror oh, movie. Why? Why? Why, Nen? Why do you hate me so much? You know I'm terrified of you. Uh, I'm terrified. I'm having nightmares now just because you brought it up. Somebody that's what people feel like about Coraline. Really? Also, is it really? Oh, that's also, great for you show or that Beetlejuice? It was based off a movie that Netflix remade for a show. Like it's called The Dark Crystal or something. Mm, I haven't it's, heard that. It's a show. It's a show where they have puppets. Like it's puppets that, and it's real life. They're like just moving around puppets to make the characters and all kinds. I don't of like stuff. puppets. Puppets are ugh, no thank Kinda you. Kind of like something called the Labyrinth. I think I don't know something like that. Mm. But. And they look realistic and like, ugh. Who? Who here has seen The Lord of the Rings? I, I haven't. I, I know it. There's so much oh. to, there's so much to catch up in life and all that stuff. I, it I took me like you only 10 years to watch it. Literally, it took me like 10 years to finally watch it after being told it was so like, good. And how we do? So show movies were scary sometimes, at least when I was little. Like, you had, like the one at the lake or whatever, or the one with the alien and the... I was terrified. <laughs> and like, stuff. I mean, maybe I wouldn't be terrified. I'm not terrified now, but like... Oh, you, actually one of the actors who uh, played Scooby... The dog and some other characters in the show for a year or two. He's like popular around here since he lives here. His name's Scott Innes. Mm, I've never seen the Scooby-Doo movies. I don't think it was a movie. He played Scrappy Doo oh. and Scooby Doo or whatever. But oh, like, like in the old TV show? In multiple things. <gasps> really, Telly? Oh, that is so cool. I can't believe I'm so late. So I cannot believe I am so late to the whole Lord of the Rings like thing. I should have listened to my friends years ago. Mm. I need a holiday. <laughs> There's so much. You know how many people have been mean to people about the Olympics? Like, I think there's a lawsuit against a few people who were mean to one of the players. Really? Was it the yeah. girl that danced really weird that no, is no, like no, a no, cat no. cat now? No, no, uh, Actually, I heard that she cheated her, not necessarily cheated, like, she stopped people who were actually good at 
break dancing from doing it so she could do it. But yeah, uh, she either thing, way, I'm... it shouldn't be hard enough. Yeah. It's, it's impossible, but, but yeah. Yeah, but uh, what, I, what I'm specifically talking about is a certain author who was saying this woman who was transgender even though she wasn't and that it's illegal in her country. The the boxer girl, she yes. is not transgender. I know that yes. was so stupid. Uh, she was they're, spreading they're, a lot of they're, people yeah, been spreading they're suing, horrible they're lies suing about that all the people woman. who did it. They're suing like Good. JK Rowling and J I heard I saw a tweet Good. saying JK Rowling said I'm fine with going to jail for whatever I Good. said about that. She she should go to and same with all the other people that were like spreading misinformation about this. I think poor it was girl. Musk and the uh, yep. uh Musk was another one, all because his daughter is trans, and his daughter literally told him off, like, oh my god, his daughter is like, my dad is the worst person in the world. Oh yeah, you, I've heard stuff about her, do his daughter. Oh, uh, she, she, the other day on Twitter, she just, yes, I saw that, like, I heard that. Have you guys seen the, uh, Black Mold Theory? No. Yes, um, basically, she's taken a picture, like, she's had, like, a profile picture, for, uh, throughout, like, four years, where you can just suddenly see, like, black mold growing more and more in her walls. Um, what? it started in 2020 or 2021, where there's, like, you know, faint signs of black mold, and then, over the years, like, new profile pictures have shown it, like, even more and more. And they're saying that's why she's, like, kind of going crazy. Interesting. Yeah, I, I saw that one with the. Where's she just transphobic? You know? Elon Musk's daughter being, being a good. Oh, she person. called him out, especially about the religion side. She's like, my father's never stepped foot in church. Like, my <laughs> father's never had an original idea. He he buys, he just yeah, buys people's right. ideas and then pretends to be this smart, amazing person. Yeah, and, and none of it. It's good to know that his family. He has yeah, like some him. good family that are actually nice people. Well, because she's trans. When she came out as trans, he kicked her to the curb and blamed the woke agenda on it. And she's like, "No, I've and been trans since I was yeah. could remember." Because we're dumb. Elon's dumb. Kicked out. I'm guessing she's not rich like with her family. Like, no, and she doesn't care. She doesn't want anything to do with him. Yeah, you got a point. Because he he dropped her when she was most vulnerable, and now blame and then loves to make it political. And she's yeah. like, me being trans is not political. Yeah. It's like, why can't you just love your kid? I know, it sounds so hard, doesn't it? That reminds it? me. Jeez. I'm on the fence of talking to one of my neighbors about if, coming, if I ever like, get kicked out to come to their house or whatever. But then again, I don't want them to tell my parents that they I'm will. I, I would maybe wait on that one. Just know you have probably a safe house you could run to. But if you try to set it up ahead of time, they yeah. might let your parents know. And then, you know. Now you've got to deal with that whole thing, so. Yeah, it's just that I don't want to get kicked out of the house and on a concrete ground. No. Know. Well, do you always have your phone with you when you are? Uh, they take it away usually. They took it away oh. last time. Okay, okay, I was going to say, because I'm going to give you my number. You can call me. I can get you somewhere safe, but but that doesn't work if you don't have your phone. Why do your You're parents take 18, your right? phone away from you? Yeah. That's stupid. I don't think they're allowed they to do. take your phone away. Well, it's your they, property. Probably because they pay for it, my ass. Yeah, they pay for it. I, at one time when I was working, I did help pay for it, but they pay for it. So, like, if I do anything wrong, they can just take it away. And I'm like, but I'm an adult now. You can't. Uh, basically, and also they're on the thing where, like, we're better adults or whatever. So we. Well, you're have an more adult power. too now, so. We have more power than you, and you can't. The only thing they have power them. over is that they still pay for your stuff, as you know. But that's part of being that's part of being um, a kid. Like you're still their yeah. child, no matter how old you are. Yeah, and I have a... like, I doubt oh they would my actually. Oh God, average Evan is here. I doubt they would actually kick yeah. me out for like. He's permanent. a celebrity. Because I just I would say. Uh... Oh, sorry. Thank you for the new uh, sticker we'll have oh. to. If they did, Hi, hi Evan. Thank Hello. Hey, took it. I've missed you. Okay, sorry. Let Magic finish their thought so, real quick. Yeah, like yeah, I was cool, saying, sorry. if they actually did kick me out, they wouldn't. The neighbors would hear about it very quickly. And yeah, would... other people. You go to your sister too. You know. Some more goodies. Ah, I'm not. She's okay, but she's still not. Exactly. Yeah, but at least in a pinch, in an emergency, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, but she usually agrees with them a lot. Yeah, uh, neighbors. We'll go back to neighbors. Yeah. 
the one who I probably trust is most likely the old lady that I like. She's honestly really nice. Oh, that's pretty nice. So Evan, um, so you went on a like on some carnival rides today, huh? I did. So um, I don't usually do that. Um, I'm not really a big carnival person. Um, I don't really go on thrill rides. It's not my thing. But I just I was walking along the promenade with my grandmother, and I just saw, and I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna go over there and just do it. So I went over there. I saw that you needed three tickets, so I just bought ten tickets. So I played some other stuff. I went on there. I went on the Helter Skelter. Grandma was gonna get a video, but I went up it so quickly that she wasn't ready. I, I came down and she was like, "Oh my gosh, you're done already!" I was like, "Yes." She's like, "I was waiting for you to get up there." I was like, "Well, you know, I wasn't, you know, it wasn't a cure or anything." Um, yeah, I went on that. It was really fun. Um, I've been to. Uh, we, me and Grandma went to a small little like arcade thing. Um, I gave. I there weren't Grandma anything. Gamer. Me. <laughs> no, she was just watching me. Um, <laughs> there wasn't really anything. Um, there wasn't really anything there that I wanted to like win. Like there wasn't really any prizes that really appealed to me. So I gave um, this kid like the tickets I had won. Oh, that's very uh, kind of you. Yeah, I also have been to my great auntie Velda's house again. I was there for about an hour and a half. Um, we went to uh, uh, this is okay. So my again, my fam my family is really big. So I went to my great uncle Ian's house. So he's one of my grandmother's brothers. My grandmother comes from like a family of like I think it's eight siblings. Um, so yeah, one of them also lives in Weymouth. Um, so I went over there to see him, his partner, and his kids, and their kids' kids. So, just a massive family. We were only there for about an hour and a half. Um, but we did say hello. Um, yeah, so it's been, it's been a very, like, fulfilling day. Um, so tomorrow I'm gonna go, there's a small aquarium near my hotel room. So tomorrow I'm gonna pay a visit there and see if I can get some cool pictures and videos. Um, hello, and then I'm Park also Park. going to... <laughs> yeah, they're great. Um, and then I'm also going to go and play some, some mini golf. There was a small little mini golf course near where that flower clock was that I took a picture of. Um, and then I'm going to go um, all the way to the end of... I'm going to do it all in order. So my hotel room is like at one end of the beach. So I'm, And the aquarium's there too. So I'm going to go across next door, do the aquarium walk along the promenade to the golf course, then walk to the other side of the beach where the harbour is, and I'm going to go on a ferry. So, yeah, it, um, it's been great. It's been great fun. It's been a really nice day. Yeah. I've missed all of you a lot. Um, I've not been talking a lot because I've been... <laughs> what did you say, sorry, Phoenix? Are you doing this skip on your own? <laughs> no, 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 I'm with, I'm with my grandmother. Oh. So... So my grandmother, because my grandmother has a big family in Bracknell and in, um, so my grandmother's brother, um, Alan, he died in 2015, but he has a big family that we're very close with. So she wanted to see them in Bracknell. So she wanted to go there. And then she wanted to go to Weymouth to see her sister, Velda, who she's very close with as well. Um, but because she's got heart failure and because of her age, um, it was, it was thought it would be good, a, a good idea if I came along just to make sure that she's all right, but also so that I can have my own holiday. Yeah, and you could get to know these family members, so I think it's a win-win situation. It's completely. So, um, yeah, it's, it's been lovely. Um, I, I'm sorry I haven't really been in calls or really talking a lot. It's just that um, I've been sort of glued to a family member at the hip, um, or I've been outside. You make sure you unglue them when you leave. Otherwise, yeah. it'll hurt. You'll rip apart. And, right. You know... Alcohol I've been like, rubbing alcohol. I've just not really been. I've not been in any situations where I could really like sort of like be in Discord call. So that's why I no, haven't. You're fine. You're, that's you're not you're supposed to make you for living your life. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But it's been so. it's been really good fun. Um, I had a. Does he, oh, sorry. Do you can do his outro real quick? It's okay. Of course. I'm so sorry. Go ahead, sir. No, that way you can ring a ringer. So yeah. Yay. Uh, thank you. Uh. Thank you all for watching. It's been me, Dusty Circuit here. Uh, some more Fortnite with Skade. If you liked what you saw, I'm gonna leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you want to see more of my videos, you should hit the bell for notifications. Peace, Peace out. out. Ring, 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 